My name's Jim Green, I'm the uh, senior pilot for GWAC here. I've been here for seven years. Before that, I was uh, a pilot up in Aberdeen uh, in the North Sea, taking people out to oil rigs. Before that, I did a bit of uh, instructing and sort of charter work, but I've always been a civilian pilot. You know, in order to become a HEMS pilot, you tend to need quite a specific set of experiences. Um, so they want you to have um, kind of a lot of pilot and command time and then low level flying. The most useful thing I think you can have is landing in confined areas. Everyone does a little bit of that as part of their uh, uh, commercial training, but it's very different from, you know, when you actually do it for real uh, at a HEM site. Okay, so this is a, a, an EC-135 helicopter, it's called. Um, it used to be Eurocopter, it's now Airbus. They got bought out a few years ago. It's twin-engined, um, it weighs just under three tonnes. In my mind, it's one of the best kind of aircraft for HEMS, um, and for a couple of reasons. The first thing is that uh, it's got quite a high rotor disc, uh, and that means that, you know, when our crew are getting in and out, rotors running, which they do all the time, it means that it's quite safe for that. And then it's also got this shrouded tail rotor as well, so you can see that that's kind of uh, encased. And a lot of the you know, places we're landing, they're quite bushy, long grass or things like that, um, and that just adds an extra sort of layer of uh, protection on there as well. The typical setup, so normally we have, you know, myself obviously I sit at this one which has got the controls, um, but um, although it's a single pilot operation, the paramedics are trained to assist me with a lot of the navigation and some of the radios and, and uh, bits and pieces as well. And also they're an important lookout. Um, so they're, they're an essential part of the HEMS team. We can't do air ambulance without, without the, one of the HEMS crew members, the paramedics on board. Um, and uh, so that's how they, they kind of differ from the doctor as far as we're concerned. The doctors are in the rear and they're classified as medical passengers because we're flying them to the job to assist the patient. Um, but the, the paramedics are trained to kind of assist us with all of that as well. When you get a day like today um, and we can get a job anywhere, um, you know, it's, it's a really nice job and it's not that challenging at all. Um, but we get all kinds of exemptions to, which allow us to operate in very poor weather um, and, uh, and things like that, which means that you know, sometimes if it's very low cloud and raining and stuff, we might have to negotiate our way around some, some hills and not be able to see very much. Uh, and that's when the paramedics really come into our own because they're able to just, you know, think ahead a little bit, start looking at routes around some of the high ground on the maps and, you know, and, and plan, for, plan for that. 